Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Owl House. I got a rather nice response in the last video, so we're going to keep going for a bit. But before we do, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button for more videos, and to stay notified when we go live. Okay everyone, Owl House Episode 2, and things are looking great. We've got Luz waking up in the new world, and she just can't believe it. It's one thing to go through the looking glass and find adventure, it's another thing entirely to actually live an ordinary day in it. And that's where we are, Luz actually living it. The episode seems to be about the idea of the strange world not quite fitting the reality. For someone so engrossed in fantasy and dreams being important, a place like this just ticks all of those boxes. It makes you feel special. It's what we all feel. It's what we all want. And when she's told that she's going to have to work for things, that in many ways it's as mundane and as structured as a previous life, well, it's not what she wants. The easy way out, the world of fantasy where she's the chosen one, where she's special, that's something that she latches on to when a wizard offers her a chance to be a chosen one with a real destiny to go after. The far wiser Eden knows more about the world, but by that I don't mean the intricacies of magic and monsters. Obviously there's that, but more important, she knows about destiny. She knows about place and purpose. She knows that we are the people we are because of our choices, not because of our destinies. Not because of some preordained scrolls or writing on a wall. It's all about the choices that we make and the actions that we take. This right here, this is what I was hoping for with this show. Lose has some issues that she needs to deal with. It's why she was being sent off in the first episode. And this place can't simply be her running away from her problems into a fantasy. She needs to learn to grow and Ida is there to make certain that that happens. The creature's designs are still on point with lots of interesting monsters and just regular people going about their business in the boiling aisles. And I'm very much hoping that a good amount of the focus will simply be on getting to know these creatures and people. I want normal everyday stuff. Give me Liz exploring, making friends, selling stuff. Give me more of the mundane. Forget world building, give me the actual world. An episode with her at a coffee shop with a centaur, going fishing with a merman. Not everything needs to be a fight, not everything needs to be grand. And if this show can give me that, I think we'll have something special. As it is, I'm still enjoying and still tuning in, and I hope you'll tune in again. Until then, this is Kekker saying, bye bye